1993, Toho started production on a new film that would put Godzilla up against his doppelganger, Mechagodzilla, once again. But like any other kaiju, they would have to redesign Mechagodzilla. And for a successful redesign to be made, there has to be other concepts that get scrapped. The first concept is Berserk. A fireball drops from the stars. Once the meteor lands, it cracks open. A metallic blob comes out of the crack. Then, it starts absorbing metals and machines until it becomes a metallic doppelganger of Godzilla. And then Godzilla wins the battle. I mean, the Super X3 helped, but... And then we have one of my favorite Mechagodzilla designs ever. Transforming Mechagodzilla. Like the name implies, Transforming Mechagodzilla would have been able to transform into seven different vehicles. Yeah, when you think about it, it's pretty obvious why they scrapped this one. Just imagine what this guy could look like with modern CGI. Oh wait. The first time we would have seen him, Mechagodzilla would have attacked two Pteranodons on Adenoa Island. The male Pteranodon would have been killed while the female lived on. Then Godzilla and White Rodan, the female Pteranodon juiced up, would have fought Mechagodzilla and both been killed. That's until the Garuda, one of Mechagodzilla's forms, explodes and brings back Godzilla to save the day. If someone were to ask me what was my favorite out of these two, I would definitely say Transforming Mechagodzilla.